It's a KFC fire log. Best enjoyed with family, friends, and KFC's fried chicken in the following locations. Fireplace inserts, wood stoves, chimneys. This is wood. This smells like KFC. Like the whole box smells like fried chicken. 11 herbs and spices. I need to go back to Europe. A message from the universe sending me back to Europe. Okay, this is full of spiders. Because I left this outside because it smells so strongly of KFC chicken that I couldn't have this inside the house. Guys, it's a KFC fire log. It's got instructions. It says on here, fire log made from 100% recycled cardboard, not actually fried chicken. It's sure to make your home smell better than boring old wood. I don't even know if I want to open this. What is wrong with this country, guys? What is this? Like someone's frying a whole family of chickens. Not the whole family. It's falling apart. Is this made out of pieces of like leftover KFC bags? It smells just like chicken. And we haven't even lit it up yet. In other countries, we burn sage. In America, we burn fried chicken. It's greasy as well. Like it's a like greasy paper that it's supposed to look like wood. It kind of looks like wood, I guess. I am so confused about this whole thing. The crazy thing is it already smells like fried chicken in my house. I don't know why I'm doing this. Wait, I, I do have a fire alarm. Oh, that, I do not like that smell. And this is how they baptize every KFC franchise on opening day. Honestly, this smells more like fried chicken before it's lit up than when it's lit up. It's really weird, but it's true. Okay, this is on fire now. I don't know if you can see. Should I be scared? Okay, I'm getting kind of scared now. Because this is inside my house. Okay, let's take this in. It just smells like burnt paper now. So this is more effective when you're just looking at it. Should I stop this? Oh my god. Oh, this is when my fire alarm is gonna go off. Oh, no, 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 I need to get this outside. Ah, <laughs> ah I can't get it out. Sorry, neighbors, I daring to fry chicken. My house went from smelling like a KFC to smelling like a crematorium. This is an Oreo flavored Oreo. This is a cookies and cream flavored Oreo. I don't possess the vocabulary to explain to you how surreal this is of an item. What in the Oreo parody is this? <gasps> it looks even better than it does on the actual package. This is what the package looks like. I mean, they look pretty good, but inside, these look rich. They look expensive. <laughs> Would you look at this? Am I crazy for thinking that this looks amazing? They look like they're filled with ice cream or something. Anyways, they look thick. Inside, let's grab some of these. Let's make a nice little stack with the prettiest ones. Imagine being the person at Oreo who has to go and tell your boss the marketing department just thought of Oreo flavored Oreos. How is this a real product? How is this a real country? They literally have pieces of Oreos inside and they look good. I actually want to eat this. I would say, I think they officially call this on the package Oreos most Oreo? <laughs> no, honestly, they're literally called the most Oreo Oreo. I mean, come on. Like, someone has to see the humor in this. It can't be just me. And that's literally what they look like as well. They look like just Oreo to the max. Someone went to the Oreo control button and just boosted the whole thing. <laughs> Let's do the standard procedure for Oreos. Inside, it is literally a cream. It's just made of blended Oreos. I think they rolled it around in some crunchy Oreo pieces. This is genius for them because they already had all the ingredients. This is crazy. They finally did it. Let's give it a try. Guys, it just tastes like an Oreo because when you put the Oreo flavor inside the Oreo, it still tastes like an Oreo. How did they not think of this? It just tastes like an Oreo. There is no difference in flavor because the ingredients are the same. It's just visually different. An Oreo cookie that tastes like an Oreo cookie, but costs three times more. That seems about right, America. That seems about right. And guess what? I was so convinced this was gonna be a success. <laughs> I bought a second one. Mm-hmm. <sighs>
Or you panic. I've never been anywhere in the world where they take fall, specifically pumpkin spiced flavors, as seriously as they do in America. So let me introduce to you pumpkin spice flavor ramen noodles. Oh, how is this real? How is this real? How? Not a product of my imagination. It's official. It's from the brand Cup Noodles, which I think is a popular ramen noodle brand here in America. And it is pumpkin spice flavor. The pumpkin, the cinnamon, the whipped cream. <laughs> Not the whipped cream. Wait a minute. For an even more satisfying pumpkin spice experience, try topping it with whipped cream. Like, I'm not making it up. It literally, one of the steps is to add whipped cream to your ramen noodles. <laughs> Lord, please. So we're gonna open it. Wait, that smells, like it smells amazing. I'm not getting like pumpkin spice, but I'm not getting anything bad either. It just looks like noodles. It's got a lot of powder on it. Honestly, I love the smell of this. It's like noodle, toasty wheat, caramel. Is this a dessert? Because that would make so much more sense. At least something would make sense. Microwave directions. Add room temperature water inside, fill to the line, and then cook it in the microwave for three minutes and let it stand for two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna fill it up all the way to the line. Okay, that's the line. Let me show you. This is how much water goes in it. And we're gonna microwave this for three minutes, let it stand for two, and then top it with whipped cream. I can't believe I'm gonna say this. It smells delicious. My whole house smells incredible and I cannot even explain to you the smell, but we followed the instructions and honestly, it's got a little bit of like sauce in it, but not too much. Like it is creamy, like they said. And it smells so good. It smells like a pumpkin katsu noodle, which I've had before and it's a great dish, but that's what it smells like. So let's see the instructions. So you cook it, you let it stand for two minutes, which we've done. And then for an even more satisfying pumpkin experience, try topping with whipped cream after microwaving. We want to top some ramen noodles with whipped cream. Horrified, but also hungry. Do we mix the whipped cream? I love my pumpkin spice whipped cream. Wait, they are really creamy, but they are pumpkin spice. <laughs> These are the best ramen noodles I have eaten, period. This is so good. It's dancing in between the sweet and savory in a way that you need like a Michelin star for this product. Honestly, the most amount of whipped cream, the better it tastes. It is so incredible that I think it's a crime that most people don't know this. I actually want to do more whipped cream. Look, I came here full of hate. My heart was full of hate. It was dark, drenching in judgment and negativity coming into this product because I didn't want to believe. I thought this was a mistake by the Americans. This is so good. It's so creamy. Look at this. These are like the best looking noodles you've ever seen. The more whipped cream you add to this, the better it tastes. It tastes like pumpkin spice, but better. It tastes savory, but better. It tastes sweet, but better. Man, they should just hire me as a spokesperson for this brand. This is so, so insane that I don't even know what to tell you. Oh my god. I've never really quite eaten anything like it. And I swear to you, this sauce, when the whipped cream touches that pumpkin spice flavor, scrum de la yum yum. That's all I can say. Scrum de la yum yum. That's the best way to describe this. This is so good. You guys have been watching this series for a while and it's full of weird products and most of them are as strange as you imagine. This one is even more strange, but it tastes even better. So I think we should conclude the series. We found the one. America, you've done it. If you ever wonder, how much do people really love hot dogs in America? Gummy hot dogs much. These are hot dogs. <sighs> shaped, but they're made of gummy. So they're like jelly hot dogs. They're by the brand Oscar Mayer, which is the brand that does most processed meat products in America. And they decided to do gummy hot dogs. They kind of nailed it. I mean, they look like hot dogs. This is so weird. They're shiny as well, like hot dogs. They're not shiny, they have a protector thing on top. Not them wrapping this like this is a fancy product. They're like, this is gonna be the Ferrero Rocher of hot dogs. Oh, protection, I'm horrified. That feels 
feels like hot dogs, like wet hot dogs. They're so shiny. They kind of smell like gummies now. They honestly kind of smell delicious, but the way they move, like, <laughs> like hot dogs that have been boiling for a little bit too long. Look, it's like hot dogs moving in slow motion. Me crying in a really sad movie. <laughs> These are so greasy. They're probably the greasiest feeling candy ever. Like this is straight up butter. What, what is this made of? Glucose syrup, sugar. It's 20 different words for sugar. So this is the texture of it. Honestly, they are weirdly springy, but tough at the same time. Look at this. You can really stretch the hot dog. Let's see how long you can stretch the hot dog. Things that many people probably have said in different contexts. The hot dog's pretty strong. Will the hot dog snap? Honestly, no. <laughs> okay. Wow, now my hot dog is so much bigger. Let's give it a try. They don't taste like hot dogs, which I was expecting. I kind of like it. It's a good consistency. They're as soft as they feel when you move them, which results in a strangely delicious candy. Flavor-wise, I'm getting peach, definitely getting peach. This is so stupid. Gummy hot dogs, and I would buy this again. They just nailed the consistency. It kinda is like a hot dog, but chewy. But the flavor, it's given. American's obsession with candy canes needs to be started at an academic level, because Twinkies in a candy cane. And if this isn't enough for you, I don't even know how to say these words. <laughs> this is Caesar salad flavored candy canes. Caesar salad. <laughs> And the mascot is a smiling Caesar salad. That is their logo. They were like, we really need something that will sell this. Let's see what the Twinkies flavored candy canes are saying. These are like an official product. Like they were actually made by Twinkies. They were like, we need to put our flavor into a candy cane. It's what people want. Free healthcare, nah. Lower taxes. Nah. In America, people want the Twinkies flavored candy canes. And I respect it somehow. So let's see what's inside. I honestly, I kind of love the color of it. I love the whole thing. Can we slide all of them out? I mean, they look exactly like what I would expect Twinkies candy cane to look like. Wait, every single one of them is broken. 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 Broken! Broken. Oh, this is my last chance. Please don't be broken. My last hope. Broken. Let's open this one. This is probably the least broken one. How do you open a candy cane? Oh, that will do. I guess the yellow is like the sponge cake part of the Twinkies and then the white is supposed to be the cream. Ingredients, sugar, glucose, syrup, titanium dioxide. I thought that was a song by David Guetta. That strangely tastes like a Twinkie. Like all you get is sponge cake. It's a sponge cake flavor and it's so realistic. Like you can taste the eggs. It's so realistic. I don't even quite know what to say. I can taste the flour and the eggs, the custard as well to a certain extent. This is the most realistic flavor that I've ever experienced. What kind of technology did they use for this? They put some dark magic in these flavorings. I don't know if I should be horrified or impressed or both. Suddenly I'm scared of the Caesar salad one. The Caesar salad ones seem a little bit more well packaged, like this seems sturdy. So I don't think these are actually broken. We're gonna be really gentle how we get these out. When a vegetarian person comes for dinner in my house, I'm gonna come through with so many options. I'm like, but would you like this Caesar salad candy cane? These are holding on pretty well. So packaging, it's perfect. It's not broken. I do need to know, do these actually taste like Caesar salad? Or is it maybe like a joke on the package? I don't really know. I saw them and I bought them. Let me see what the smell is giving. It's not giving Caesar salad. In fact, it's not giving nothing. So let's give it a try. I want to throw up. It tastes like moldy lettuce. This was a mistake. I didn't know what I was expecting, but not this. It tastes like if you have lettuce sitting in your house, in the fridge, in the bottom of it for six weeks, and then when you open it, there's like white fungus growing all over the lettuce, like a foamy, furry, fuzzy layer all over your lettuce. That's what it tastes like. Expired, rotten, illegal. 
nor just nor so there's this brand in america called icy and i think this is a brand they make slushies that are kind of sold at like gas stations i think i don't know i'm an immigrant so don't hold me to it that's what i think anyways i was speechless when i saw that these ice slushies are so popular that they transformed them into cookies not only one flavor, one flavor was not enough. They transformed slushies into two different types of cookies. One of them is a blue raspberry cream filled cookies and also a cherry flavored a slushy cookie. I mean, I love a blue raspberry slushy. It's a mild obsession of mine. So I can see how this is going to be a thing. America's favorite frozen beverage now in a cookie. Let's see. They literally transformed a frozen drink into an Oreo. The smell of this is so intense. <laughs> oh, that looks so artificial and weird. Oh, and it smells so good. But not for a cookie, for like a frozen drink. The smell is so intense. The colors of this is so weird. It's the weirdest colors I've ever seen for any cookie. Like the combination. And then on top of it, it smells like frozen blue raspberry drink. It literally, it's so realistic. And it's the texture of an Oreo. Like you can literally eat this like an Oreo. How does this make any sense? I am going to eat it like an Oreo. I imagine this dipped in milk, that would be disgusting because it's like sour raspberry flavor. I'm still gonna give it a try. That is so weird that I don't even know what to think. I don't know if I hate it. I don't know if I love it. I think this has like a fizzing kind of like feel, almost like dissolving in your mouth. It literally says on here, pop and fizz of a classic icy. I don't know what that means, but it's almost like popping candy kind of texture on the center. This is really weird. I don't think I like it. This is too weird. I love a strange product, but this tastes like it should be a drink, not a cookie. It I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I would want more. Anyways, my neighbors will enjoy this. Personally, it tastes too artificial to be a cookie. There is the strange aftertaste you get after you drink a slushy. They've nailed that, but it's gross. So this is the cherry variety. These are so powerful. Like if you think an Oreo flavor smell is strong, no, you have not experienced a strong cookie smell until you try these. When you open it, it's like being at 7-Eleven with like slushies being pouring out nonstop. The alarm's going off. It's an overwhelming sensation. This is the cherry variety. I feel like certain things should just stay as they are. Maybe Twinkies should stay as Twinkies. Maybe Ices should stay as Slushies. This one is equally as weird as the blue one. I will still give you the review that no one asked for, but I'll give it to you. It's like an Oreo, really. It really is a similar texture. Flavor-wise, it's a lot different towards the worst. This is so weird. They're equally as bad. <laughs> they have this strange realistic feeling. You know when you're drinking like a fizzy drink? They have that on the inside. It's so weird that I can't enjoy this. They tried too hard and they succeeded. This is weird. I've noticed pretty early on when I moved here that America has an obsession with root beer flavored things. Specifically a root beer float, which is a root beer, which is hard to explain by itself, but it's kind of like a Coke that tastes like medicine. And a float is by adding ice cream to it. Is it? I don't know. Once again, I am an immigrant. I really truly don't know this. This is not pretend. I am very fresh in this country that I live in. So anyways, I saw this at the supermarket. It's a Sonic root beer float pudding. <laughs> this is the things that get me. Like it could be just a root beer float, but this is a pudding. They're like, we need to get a root beer float, which is already a pretty strange thing, and transform it into something else. And then put a brand on it from Sonic, which is a fast food restaurant. So we got three cups of milk, which is how much this whole thing makes, which is a whole lot. And to this, we're going to add our root beer float mix. So this is our root beer float mix. I don't even know what this is made of. I don't think anyone wants to. This is going to taste like root beer with ice cream. So we're gonna add the root beer powder. Wait, that smells kind of good. It smells like caramel though. Wow, that's a whole lot of sugar. Literally can see all the sugar. And we're going to whip this. It's a little too liquidy to be called instant. Like we have different definitions of instant. Oh my God. <gasps> Shouldn't this be ready by now? I feel like I'm mixing New York subway sewage water. And you know what? 
It smells like it too. How is this supposed to be instant? It literally said instant on the box. Because if this has to go in the fridge, I don't have this kind of, you know, I'm not investing in this product in this kind of way. So just tell me, do you taste good or do you not taste good? Do I need to ask for a refund or do I just accept the damage to my wallet? I guess we can still taste the flavor. That is quite possibly the most disgusting thing that I have ever eaten. It literally, it tastes like cough syrup if cough syrup was made in a meth lab. One of my favorite parts about eating breakfast cereal is after you finish eating the cereal, when the milk is like infused with the flavor of the cereal, it's like a milkshake, a little sweet soup, if you will. In America, if corporations know that you love something, they will give it to you. And if they know that you like cereal milk, they will give you Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavored milk. Yep, just, you know, if you're eating a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, mine is the cereal. And they trademark it as Cinnamilk. This is like a real thing, like, and they add vitamin A and D. I don't quite know what to say. It's basically that, it is milk without the cereal. Whenever you have cinnamon toast crunch, the cereal does kind of go like a light brown with like pieces of cinnamon. I do wonder if it's as realistic as the real deal. I'm assuming that it is. Hmm. It just smells like milk. Wait, it just looks like milk. That is like the best part of cinnamon toast crunch milk is the color of it, the pieces of cinnamon. If there's no cinnamon in here, how'd you get the cinnamon flavor in here? Conspiracy theory. Why am I shaking this like I'm about to drink a Pinot Grigio? I don't know. You got the joke. It was going somewhere and then we didn't. Let's give it a try. No, no, just, just no. This is like a glass of milk. This is not the same. The idea was great because if you had accomplished this, this is my favorite part about having cereal is the milk after. This just tastes like milk. I can't even taste cinnamon. This is so weak and boring to look at. Hell no. When I moved here, one of my first obsessions in American supermarkets was actually the spice aisle. There were things like accent, all seasoning. There's a lot of seasoning mixtures that they make in America that the rest of the world has never heard of it. Like, I don't know, I knew salt, pepper, basil, thyme, garlic, onion, and all these mixtures of seasonings. So I wanted to include one of these products in this video and I found the weirdest one at Walmart. I literally can't believe this is real. This, is dark coffee roast seasoning specifically made for beef also specifically made in america like trust me you don't need to put the american flag on there we kind of gathered when we saw that you're putting coffee in your meat it's ideal for beef pork lamb and chicken and it is literally coffee i'm telling you the spice aisle in america is very underrated so let's see what it smells like i mean it's salt it smells like coffee. It smells like the trash at a Starbucks. They're like, we know you like Starbucks. So we went to the trash, we blended it, we added some salt and maltodextrin, and we want you to put it on your food. And now you owe us $10. This looked disgusting. This is microwave burgers. I don't know. I saw it at Walmart and I thought this is probably gonna taste horrible. So I'm gonna pick the ones that cost 50 cents. So here they are. Anyways, we are going to season this on beef because it's one of the things that they tell you to add this to. It is literally blended coffee. Or meat. <laughs> I'm going heavy on this. I could hear my ancestors leaving the job as guardian angels when I tried this. They're like, you're on your own now. Let's try it. I'm getting it, but it's not as intense as I thought. The level of intensity that it's at now, it's actually enjoyable. Either the product is good or we didn't add enough that we actually couldn't taste it. You know what? We're gonna go all out. It's gonna be salty now. That is delicious. My meat slightly tastes like a cappuccino and I love it. <laughs> the dark coffee roast seasoning creates the ultimate bark on barbecue or crusty grilled chicken. Our blend wakes up every steak, rib, wings, and sauces. Well, it certainly woke up whatever these burgers are because I would not eat this otherwise. This made this kind of delicious. So once again, I came here to judge and I did exactly that, but I live with a snack, so. Who's laughing now? This is pretty good. I think Americans invented the concept of s'mores, which is graham crackers, marshmallow, chocolate combination, toasted, and then they went with it and they infused it into literally everything, including coffee. This is a s'mores 
flavored coffee. Specifically a collaboration with Girl Scouts. I don't know what Girl Scouts is and at this point I'm too afraid to ask. Is it like a kids who are bored? They go on a hike, they hold hands, sing songs, eat cookies. Now I'm just describing my ideal weekend. But we're gonna try it. I am going to be really honest. I have not had a single positive experience with Dunkin Donuts every single time I've went there. So I kind of stay away from their products. But it could be that a s'mores flavored coffee, like some people actually drink this like every morning, like a s'mores flavored coffee. Like it's incredible. It's really an amazing country. This is why I moved here. A s'mores flavored coffee could be my choice of drink for breakfast. It isn't, but it could be if I really wanted to. This is a milkshake. How is this a coffee? Look at the thickness of it. That is a milkshake. That literally tastes like chocolate. That does not taste like coffee, not even a little bit. The texture of it, the thickness of it, it's pretty horrifying. Okay, hear me out. I don't even think it's the coffee. I don't think there's anything wrong with the flavor of the coffee here. It's kind of there, I can taste it. But it's the chocolate flavor. It's so artificial. It's the most artificial chocolate flavor. There is no way in the world this is made with real chocolate. Less than 2% of cocoa. So I guess it is made with 2% of chocolate. It is not good. It's as much as I can say. I loved a lot of things in this video. This particular one is not for me. I also just don't think I like Dunkin' Donuts coffee yet because my taste buds will adjust eventually. One of my absolute favorite categories of products in America is when they combine two products and they blend it into one just because they can. It literally does not make sense. Nobody asked for this, but they could do it because they got that much money and free time. So they do it and they did it. This is a Trix popcorn collaboration. So Trix is a popular cereal in America, I think. Like a fruity cereal, kind of like a Fruit Loops, but not quite. So they decided to get the pieces of cereal and stick it to popcorn. Genius or stupid or both. I will say one thing. This is so heavy. This is not your average popcorn because they glued cereal to it. This is a weapon. Do you hear that sound? They created a weapon. <laughs> This is so weird. This is like fruity birthday cake popcorn. You could not explain this to like someone in Europe. Like we do have some weird things in Europe, which I want to make a video about because I don't want people to get the wrong idea that only America is producing weird products. Trust me, we got plenty of that and I will show you. But this, this is pretty strange. It's literally popcorn with a sticky caramel sauce, so sticky and then breakfast cereal attached to it. That is literally candy. Also, literally delicious. That is so good, so good. The crunch of the cereal with the crunch of the popcorn, something explodes in my brain. And then the caramel on the outside, it just brings the whole thing together. This to me tastes like candy. It's straight up candy. It's not popcorn, it's not a casual snack. This is um, blood sugar. Yeah, it's my blood. It's turning into sugar, kind of snack. It is so good though and so addictive. I literally could eat the whole bag. Give me two minutes, it will be gone. Literally can't stop eating these. America, you've certainly done something. I can't even lie. This has been one of my favorite series to film possibly ever, because I feel like with each episode, sometimes a series decreases in quality as it's normal. With this one, I feel like America keeps on producing more crazy products that each time these videos get more insane. So I hope you like that. So I would love to continue this. And if you want to watch more episodes, do support this series by giving it a like, subscribing, switching the notifications on so you don't miss out on future videos and I will keep on showing you products that don't even seem real. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoy this and I will see you guys on my next video, which will be in one to two to three, maybe worst case scenario, four days. You're used to it by now. Bye-bye.